Hey guys, this is Michael. Uh, I'm here to do a super short tutorial for uh, DaVinci Resolve 15 and Fusion. My last one went really long because I was trying to explain a lot of things, and this time I'm going to go try to go as short as I can while still keeping pace with explaining moving from uh, After Effects into Fusion. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're doing a very simple planar track today, for those of you that don't know what that is. It's where you take one object in a composition and you attach it to something else so that when that thing moves, the plane moves with it. It actually is incredibly simple to do in Resolve, so uh, let's kind of go through how we're going to go through that process. I have this footage here, taken from a drone obviously, just a simple lift-off shot, and what I want to do is attach an object to it. I've already done it once here, but I want to attach an object to it so that as the footage goes away, the object gets smaller. That's kind of fundamental planar tracking. So I'm going to take our foreground object and put it above, and I'm going to stretch it out into uh, the full composition. And you see that when I actually pull up the composition, what it looks like, the image for El Paso Spine Center is much bigger than the actual image, but we're going to turn that into a composition. So we're going to right click, I'm going to select both of these guys, right click on it, say new fusion clip, and then when I flip over to fusion, uh, we're going to see kind of what we saw last time. We have our basic merge, we have a media out tool here, we have two media ins. One of the first things I do is I select them both and I select show pictures so that I can, in a minute, it'll actually load up the images so I can see it. But I can also just select one, hit number key one, and this one right here is my uh, drone footage. Media two, then, is my El Paso Spine Center footage. Uh, just for my own peace of mind, I don't like how these are arranged. So I'm going to put my background plate, which is my drone footage underneath. That's just a little thing that I do. And they're both going into a merge right now. So what we need to do is track our drone footage. We're going to track where we want it to go and how we want it to move. To do that, I'm going to hold down shift and hit spacebar, and I'm going to type in planar, and I'm going to pull up a planar tracker. Now this tracker uh, is very similar to the tracker in After Effects, uh, and you're even going to see how they behave very similarly. I'm going to attach my background plate, my drone footage, uh, pick the output of that, go into the input for the planar tracker, and that's really all I need to do right now. You're going to see why in just a minute. In my timeline, I'm going to scroll back and I'm going to make sure I'm at the start of my comp. The drone footage pulls out, so I know it's going to be going, going further out. But for now, what I want to do is I want to be at the start of my composition. This is where I'm going to track from. There's times you don't want to do that. From this example, we are going to do this track from. When I select my planar tracker, uh, I get different options over here. You can do a point track, which is pretty common. That's usually when you have one object circling or stuck to another. I'm going to do, I'm going to drop down in my inspector over here. I'm going to change it to hybrid point area, so it's looking at more than just points. And I'm going to select an area with some good detail. So I'm going to draw a shape around kind of these scrub brush over here. I'm not too worried about it. There is actually a good bit of detail in there to latch onto and track as the image goes away. And then I'm just going to, in my inspector, hit this, we have these buttons on the inspector, track backward, single frame back, stop, single frame forward, and track forward. I'm just going to go ahead and say track forward, and I might have to speed this up because I'm not sure exactly how long this is going to take, so when the track is done, I will get back to you. Okay, our track is done. You can see that our timeline is populated with the keyframes from the track. Now, our planar tracker generated all those keyframes, and over in the inspector we have this button that says Create Planar Transform. So we're going to click that, and this is what actually 
applies our transformations to, uh, in this case, it's going to be this graphic, the El Paso Spine Center. So you might be asking yourself, um, why do I need a planar tracker and a planar transform? Those are just two different things. We don't need those. In After Effects, we don't need those. Actually, you kind of do. Uh, in After Effects, it's just that you have, at least the way I always did play, uh, point tracking, you create a null object and you take all your tracking data and apply it to the null object. Same idea, except that's where the planar transform comes in. So we're going to take our El Paso Spine Center media, pipe that into our planar tracker, and we're going to pipe that into our merge with our background, once it decides to connect that is. Now when I go to our media out, we can see that the Spine Center logo is there floating in our space. But when we go back to frame one, it's full size. So how do we change that? Well, that actually happens in our merge object here. Remember, merging from After Effects is kind of like a pre-comp and kind of not. This is one of those things where it's kind of not like a pre-comp. But when you select the merge, you can actually change the size of the foreground object. And you can also change the position to put it where you want it to go. Nope. A little too small. A little too small. I'm going to set it about like there. Then, when we come out here, we're going to see that as we scrub through our footage, it's stuck to the ground. And as our footage goes out, so does our object. Again, this is a much shorter tutorial on planar tracking in uh, DaVinci Fusion. It's pretty straightforward. It was pretty straightforward in After Effects. Uh, again, the biggest change is after you do your track with a planar tracker, you have to create a planar transform, and that's what actually is going to be applied to your footage to uh, track the object. You have to pipe in the object you want into the planar transform and pipe, pipe that into a merge with your background and then you're, you're golden from there. We're going to do a few more tutorials in the future. We're excited about this. It's actually really cool uh, the way Fusion and Resolve have been incorporated now. And you can see that back in my edit tab it's right there. It is kind of bogging my system down a little bit to play it probably because I'm also screen recording and audio recording at the same time. But you can see the move as we go throughout the comp. So once again, this is Michael, and thank you, and we will see you on YouTube.